I never intended to make YouTube videos 15 years after creating my first channel. My young self thought I would see massive success immediately and become an internet A-lister. This, while it obviously did not happen, was the impetus that drove my creativity through those early years. Now, a decade and a half later, the forces that drive me are completely different, and the best way to describe my motivation can be found in a rather unlikely place, somewhere I can guarantee none of you watching have seen. This is my great-grandfather's high school yearbook. From the Germantown High class of 1930, the book predates the term yearbook being called a class record instead. The book is in shockingly good condition, and I highly doubt my yearbook from the mid-2010s will survive quite as long as this one has. What I want to focus on is the theme for this graduating class, which they call the Gleam. The Gleam is described as this intangible shining beyond sea and shore, a glimmer that transmutes the mundane into the sublime, a force that resides inside each and every one of us that we can tap into to make the world better. The Gleam is what lets me pursue all of my creative endeavors, both on and off the internet. If these young men and women in the year 1930, a year that was not easy to navigate through as any of you listening that are slightly historically inclined to know, can see the Gleam, I know I can too. Don't get me wrong, I'm under no illusion that niche video game tutorials are highly enlightening or can change the world. The purpose of me bringing this up is to highlight the shift in my intentions. And maybe hearing about this, the gleam can inspire someone else too. Let me end this section with a part of the poem that inspired the theme of the gleam. Not of sunlight, not of moonlight, not of starlight. O oh, young mariner, down to the haven, call your companions, launch your vessel, and crowd your canvas. And, ere it vanishes, over the margin, after it, follow it, follow the gleam. Merlin and the Gleam by Lord Alfred Tennyson, 1889. One important new development from last year is that the channel is now monetized. The channel also has been growing recently, and therefore gaining a lot of traction with the recent release of the Elden Ring DLC. I'm not comfortable divulging exact numbers, but at this time, the YouTube channel generates about 3.5% of my total yearly income. While that's not much in the grand scheme of things, it is still a nice boost and enough to pay for the channel itself. So far, everything gained from the channel has been saved or spent to directly enhance it. I plan on using the channel earnings to up upgraded the 8-year-old PC I used to edit, and maybe switch to playing Elden Ring on PC from PS5. I undoubtedly need an upgrade in the editing department, but we'll see about switching to playing on PC. Now that the Elden Ring DLC is out, interest will slowly wane over time, and I'll be forced to cover other games if I want to keep the channel relevant at all. There are a couple videos on other games I plan on making, such as more Remnant 2 and Bloodborne, plus a Code Vein video coming out before December. I remember saying last year that I wanted to make a Code Vein video in the anniversary video, so now I'm finally getting around to it. Even with the peak of Elden Ring behind us, I still have many Elden Ring build videos planned. Those will not be halting anytime soon. So if that's what you're exclusively subscribed for, there is no need to worry. As someone who has played through the Elden Ring DLC 11 times now, I can say without a doubt that it is my favorite From Software DLC. The boss's art style and world layout is just incredibly impressive. There are only a few things I don't like. For example, I am really not a fan of the Golden Hippo boss fight. Luckily, he is optional, so I can just go through the church district and skip this one if I'm not feeling it. One thing that has been brought up a lot this year is that my voice and the voice of a certain character in Resident Evil 8 sound a lot alike. I haven't played Resident Evil since RE5 came out. After it was pointed out in the comments, I looked up a few clips, and I can hear why people say this. I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got the soul. There have been quite a few comments over the last year regarding the freshman year jokes I put in my videos. These jokes were something I'd say among my friend group starting back in about 2017 about my freshman year of college. In nearly every video, I'll make a comment about freshman year or have some text that pops on the screen for a few frames. So if you want all the Jersey Side lore tidbits, be sure to watch carefully. Another thing I want to touch on is the upload schedule I've adhered to for nearly two years now. Since November of 22, I have uploaded a video at 5pm local time on Friday, once a week, every week. It may seem weird to force something in the realm of the creative to a hard deadline like that, but this is the best decision I've ever made on YouTube. Forcing myself to upload gave me more experience making videos, and my channel is much better off for it. Compare a video I uploaded nearly two years ago to a video I uploaded post-DLC launch. Nearly 
every aspect has been improved. I have considered the idea of doing uploads once every two weeks, since I know I can make something much more polished given the proper time. Managing a YouTube upload schedule while the needs of faith, family, and friends take priority can get a bit tricky. However, I have yet to miss a week, even when it would have been easy to just push off the upload by a day or even a few hours. I believe I still need to train my creative muscles more, so the weekly upload schedule will also continue. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who stops by and comments on the regular. You know who you are, and you are the lifeblood that keeps this channel running. I want to give a shout out to the lurkers, too. The people who have been watching, but rarely, if ever, leave a comment. If you're one of those people, leave a comment down below how long you've been watching if you're feeling up to it. I don't bite, I promise. Most of the footage you've been seeing is a run I did for fun, using a cold-infused Ansper Rapier, Milady, and Uchikatana on Max New Game Plus. Yes, I still do play this game for fun sometimes. If you want a more in-depth dissection of any of these weapons, build videos of all of them exist on the channel. It's crazy that we now have 3,100 subscribers and are still growing. This is a dream come true for my young teenage self, even if it took a bit longer than he anticipated. Just know that 15 years later, I see the gleam, and I know I will for many years down the line. Thanks for sticking to the end of the video. If you want to see the other anniversary videos I've posted, I'll leave them in a playlist right here. It's cool to see the evolution of the channel and myself over the years. I hope you all have a good one.